joining us now, we're gonna we're gonna take this up a notch, Jerem. The head the coach factor. of BYU women's <laughs> volleyball, Sean Olmstead, also our BYUSN fashion correspondent. Always. And I as can. always. I can't see. As always. Oh, come on. It's That's beautiful. It's beautiful. In honor <laughs> of the so NBA brushed. playoffs. Yeah. One of the greatest ever. The greatest ever. Uncle Mike. That's it. That's, That's what I it. Call him. Right there. What do you call that? It's like a neon yellow green. I just call it beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Just, it is the beautiful. beautiful color. I've been complimented at all uh, at all uh, store at church. Well, not church. Sorry. Uh, but <laughs> wear that to church. Awesome. Yeah. I want to go to your ward. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Oh, Sean, good to have you in studio. Thank you, as our, always, the best. Our, our Twitter question today uh, is centers around villains for BYU Sports Nation. Fans, mm. players, coaches, who's the number one villain in all of BYU sports? It can be a team, it can be a player. That, that we've played against? Sure. Or, or, no, yes, just, there are no or, wrong anything, answers. Anything. Number one villain. I said Brian Sweet, the dude from Utah State who hurt Taysom Hill both years. The yeah, same, did you realize that? No, the same I did. Guy? Yeah, I mean, I've heard about it since yeah. I didn't realize it in the moment. But uh, I, I mean, everything I've read, he didn't. It wasn't intentional. It wasn't <laughs> intentional. I don't care. He's a villain. He's a villain. Gosh, I wish I, I, would, I wish you guys year. would have let me prepare because I probably could have brought up some good ones. But we're um, talking about this because Matthew Dellavedova last night scored 19 I, I, points I for the Cavs. I watched it. I okay. watched it after the game. They, he asked. He was asked about the boos from the United Center crowd, and he said, yeah. oh, "I played against Gonzaga and BYU, and the boos are louder there." So that yeah. brought all this up. Is okay. he the guy? There it is. is There's the, the shot. And LeBron even didn't he mention that shot, even though he said it was in a playoff game. He said in the tournament he made a shot, and I don't think I think he was referring to that he shot. Was. The next year he airballed a shot that ended their season. I just want to point that so out. So what if I say this? Maybe I'm going to get just reamed. But the good thing about me getting reamed is I have no social media. Nobody can go out and try to get a hold of me um and so what about i've been at byu sporting events what about byu fans the fair weather fan the fans that i've answer. been i've been at events where they start booing their own guys they start booing their own coaches and those guys in my mind are villains <laughs> it's a fair answer there you go it's a fair answer you don't want to turn on your own you know no, that's what I, they did. I, and that's what's I, happening. I think it's every time that I've been there, I just laugh at my, I laugh out loud and just go get a life. Yeah. Support your team. Support the players. Come on now. Have you been booed at a women's volleyball match? Um, I don't think I have. Now I'm probably going to get booed now. <laughs> so, but and your uh, coach the boo. <laughs> um, I don't think I have honestly, and so uh, maybe I have, but. Uh, Volleyball has good fans. You guys know that. I mean, most of the volleyball fans here at the Smith Field House, whether it's the men's games or the or the women's games, uh, you know, are good, knowledgeable fans that enjoy the sport. I, I, I don't, I don't, I can't think of many boos. You know, sure for the opposing fans, uh, but. I know for a fact that every male college player throughout the last. 15 years if you ask them where's their favorite place to play it's either going to be uh when it was rocking and when they're good hawaii because mm -hmm. even then they've gone through some lulls or it's guaranteed it's going to be the smith field house in provo utah without a doubt all the guys i grew up with playing that went to other schools that's the place to play I'm going to show up to the first women's volleyball match, and you're going to be announced. And I'm going to be like, boo, JK, <laughs> JK, and, and, and I'm sure you would. I'm sure you would. It's like August something. <laughs> I'm putting it in my Franklin planner right now. That's really good stuff. Okay. You, uh, I mentioned you as our fashion icon. Yes. And as the man we look to to set the trends. Yes. Well, you've taken the whole trend-setting level uh, in terms of jewelry to a new level. <laughs> okay, you got your we new did. championship we rings, did, man. Yeah. Oh. We did. I don't know if they – I don't know what's the best way to get Zoom this on, on that, camera. Look at that. There we go. Whoa, where am I going? We See? tweeted out a picture of this yesterday, too. You know, uh, let's hold this up right here. It's a there lot of go. shiny stuff in there. Gollum is going to be coming into the there studio soon to take that away. It's okay. It's gorgeous. That is all. It's like diamond encrusted around the stretch. It, uh, How much did that cost? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you've heard of the cost of attendance. We just told the girls forfeit next year's uh, cost of attendance, and we'll take and care. You and you're okay. Yeah. You're no, you know, we with the ring, they 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 come in your office and they bring you know like 50 samples from you, other schools, even schools up north, schools down south, uh, that they've done rings for. You know, football. Uh, there was actually some of um, from the BCS games and 
And we wanted to just be unique. We wanted to do something different. And so we found, I told you, I t uh, text you, we found Alabama's national championship ring. And of course it was huge, a lot bigger than this, let's be honest. Um, but we said, we want to do this. And this ring company had never done this style or this design. Hmm. And when I wear it, I mean, I don't, I've only worn it once. I wore it to one of our girls' weddings and people, you know, uh, couldn't stop asking me about it or where I got it, where can I get it? And um, it? yeah, it's, uh, it, like I said, they've never done it. So I would imagine that flat surface, they've never done that design. And, uh, you know, so the, it's, it's probably something I, I would imagine they'll continue to do again. There you go, Jeremy. I can barely see when I look at it. <laughs> there you go. This thing is legit, man. Okay, it's, I, it's pretty cool. It's okay, so it's got beautiful. your name on it. It's got the record. It's got you know HC for head coach BYU. In, yeah. Inside it says FCT. What's that? That's kind of our thing. That was uh, our thing, and we'll probably have to keep it our thing. Okay. Uh, okay but okay. the girls, the girls, it's kind of their. They created it before the season started. It was uh, on every whiteboard that we uh, on the road or at home. It's kind of our deal, our motto, and uh, the Final girls. Final four championship yeah. team. I got it. <laughs> there you go. Hey, wow, impressive. You're a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too easy. I'm just kidding. Well, that might be it. Who knows? Yeah, I, <laughs> that's very cool. That is a serious piece and of jewelry. National finalist. On and that then yeah, show. we did national yeah. finalist. So we honored the our championship West Coast uh, run. Uh, our overall record was thirty and five. We had it right there. And then we wanted to get the uh, national finalists around uh, the you know kind of around this this top part. And uh, like I said, the feedback's been unreal. The girls just are loving it. And uh, uh, this company was very impressed with how it came out, and I'm, like I said, I'm sure they're going to probably follow suit with other sports, maybe at BYU or you know other other schools. Head volleyball coach of women's volleyball at BYU, Sean Olmstead in studio B. You've got your thinking cap on now. Yes, and I, I don't. I don't want you to keep it on. It was okay. come with a hat. Oh uh, yeah. Shout out to Carpinteria, Carpinteria, California, California. exactly yeah. hometown, <laughs> born and raised. With the, with the army green or <laughs> brown or whatever color that is. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good with that neon shirt you have on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you didn't get my purple shoes either, though. Come on. we got to get the purple, purple shoes. shoes. I've got purple shoes. Your color combo is there we go. out of control. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, my. We need to get with it. We need to get with it. Okay. The summer schedule ahead. Uh, you're following up just an epic run to the national championship, and you celebrated it the right way with that ring. What, what is the summer schedule like now for you and your team? You know, right now, um, we're actually all women's Division One volleyball coaches have what's called a quiet period in May. So that's the best time for us to get in any personal time or vacation time because the NCAA regulates that we can't leave campus, even if we want to, to go recruit. So we can't. Um, and so our coaches, uh, my assistant Heather had a nice trip with, with her, her twin sister. They had a good time. Um, I've had some family time, and I'm actually going – to Carpinteria uh, today. I'm going to be driving halfway to Vegas, and then so I'll be uh, sending you guys pictures of me on the beach <laughs> next week. Uh, if I you guys would like that, I Vegas will do that. I'll send you guys night. a picture. You put it up here. But um, uh, then when this May period's over, we're right back in it. You know, we we're doing we're allowed to do the emails and phone call recruiting, which we're still continuing to do. But then in June uh, we get going. We're, we'll be at uh, AAUs at the Junior Olympics and and doing other practice visits and just back in the grind recruiting. Then in July, we've got camps, which are a great opportunity for us. We'll have all of our recruits, kids we're looking at, kids that have been committed, kids that even kids that are signed. And uh, that's a great uh, – the camp's one of our highlights of the summer because we get these kids, we get hands-on with them and get to work with them and, and, and get to just see them compete, see them play. Uh, they get to know more about us and our expectations. And then uh, <laughs> before you know it, we're uh, kicking off uh, summer camp, fall camp, however you want to say. Yeah. Right back into it's it. Here. It's Sean here. It's here. Sean Olmstead. He's got a minute to take. A, he's clearly in vacation mode with his wardrobe. <laughs> oh, this clearly. Is, this is regular clearly. season. Yeah, this fair. is game day. It's game day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is game day. Hey, great to have you in studio, man. Yeah. You guys need to have me more. I owe oh, you. We, I've got a pair of shoes. I'm not lying. I've got yours. They're coming. So you're going to probably – I'll be gone next week. I'm saying I'll be back here the week after that. I'm okay. predicting that. Okay. You guys going to both be here? W Will Jeremy be here? I won't be here in two weeks. Oh, that's sad. But it's for the Spencer, first week so of okay. June. Yeah, I'll, I'll be gone. Disappointing. Yeah. So maybe I'll wait till the week after, just so that you're here. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll be back. We June can do that. 
Fifth, eighth, or something. Okay. We'll plan off 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 programming. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Are we still on the air? Yeah, I think so. That's why. (laughs) That's why I'm saying we'll plan later. (laughs) Sean Olmstead, always entertaining. It's going to be great to have you with us. Thanks, guys.